I work alongside Mega Cafe, the chef here, and uh, Mr. Hanu, Vega Cafe, to organize a really a nutritious meal plan for children. Um, and we're here in the cafe right now, actually. child's diet, we want to make sure that they get an equal balance of these three things, which is something that we adhere to at Vega. Children are burning energy constantly, and that's why they're running around, moving around, and they need replenishment of nutrients. So when we look at our tray, or if we look at how we're going to align our food, we're looking at always having a vegetable option as well as a carbohydrate option, which element of a protein, which is, and by organizing those three ingredients across our tray, we're able to satiate the need of the child. Um, we do this through two, two large meals of the school, which is our breakfast and our lunch. Food I think is good because the menu has a holistic meal plan which children should have. I think also the good thing is that the teachers sit with them in the table. So the teachers check whether they're eating right. or not. Right. With Vega, the best part is that given he is now seeing socially the same food being uh, given to all the kids and all the kids are eating it, he has developed that desire to eat food first and also like it. Like, I'm very happy uh, about the, uh, the combinations and the kind of food they provide. It is their maximum effort to provide them nutritionally which is appropriate for the children like what kind of nutrition they have, like right amount of carbs, right amount of proteins and everything. They cover, I think all the areas are properly taken care of in terms of nutrition. Children are still young. They have to eat food that's comfortable for them. So um, introducing foods or ingredients that are unfamiliar to most children at Vega um, will result in kids struggling to finish their, their trays. So we go with a diet where four days out of the week we're, we're eating uh, an Indian cuisine. On the fifth day, typically it's our Friday, we're looking at introducing foods of uh, Pan-Asian or Western um, lineage heritage. And uh, by doing that, we're also trying to introduce children to new foods that they may not have experienced. Children also learn to have different kinds of things because at home sometimes they don't get that all variety because you know they fuss but in school they have to have. At home they still take liberty. Like they would not eat green vegetables and all but in school they eat. I mean there is some discipline and they see other children eating Social because it's too. more of a community eating. So right. children who don't eat something, I mean they see other children eating that, they at least make an effort, they at least try it out. I'm quite impressed with the food and beverage, the menu, whatever is being designed here. It's very good, yes. All of the food here at Vega is prepared on site and when we look at um, preparation of food and giving it to children, it's very important that we're looking at how fresh that food is. So it does, this, it does help us to have uh, the cafe team working throughout the day to prepare food for the children on either breakfast or lunch. Children class one through five currently, or one and up, um, eat in this cafeteria for breakfast and lunch. Nursery and KG children uh, eat in their own learning spaces. We do this uh, really for safety precautions. We bring children into this space, the cafeteria itself. Now we're more in the socialization element of eating, so children are all eating together among different, different class ages. And we're also uh, allowing children to have more of a choice on what they put on their tray, how much should they eat, and teaching some basic, let's say, moral hygiene rules of finishing what you have on your tray, as well as putting your own tray away.